I really did like working with the floral foam here. However, I made my original sketch too close to how big I wanted the doll to be in the end, uh, which resulted in a really large MSD-sized torso in the end. So in part two, you're going to see a smaller body. Um, I've done exactly what I'm going to do in this video, just again and smaller, so no worries about that. Uh, just a quick note I wanted to make um, if you're confused in the next video. So I've got my little foam frame. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stick this all together and cover it because I'm. if you put clay right on this, I imagine it's just gonna like disintegrate. Not a great move. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and masking tape it. is the body form that's wrapped and then this is just the head so it's gonna be one of these big head dolls I haven't made like a big head doll yet and I'm like it is time for like a yo s this is a yo sd size but um it was time so now that she I don't know we'll see who this becomes but now that they're wrapped um it's time to soften some clay um you can do this with air dry clay. I just like polymer clay because I don't like to wait for air dry clay. I like to let it like, when I'm ready for it to be like hard, I'm ready for it to be hard, I guess. So, so that's just, that's why I use this. Um, I've also seen some people use polymer clay as the core and then use like um, paper clay or air dry clay on top of that. All right, so I've got a pretty big chunk softened up or mostly softened up. Um, I just need to first cover the form. So as thinly as I can, I guess I'm gonna like pasta, roll it out, I guess, I don't know, with my hand. Um, I'm gonna cover this and then I'm gonna cover this. Uh, yeah, so, um, and then we can actually start the fun sculpting. This is just the, the base. I'm. Not sure, maybe I'll bake the base before I start sculpting so I don't muss it up too much. Um, that's probably a better idea. Because I'm used to sculpting digitally now, I'm not used to uh, making a core in the same way. So my core was much, much, much too wide. So when I was covering it with clay, it was very thin, which ended up being quite fragile when it's baked. Uh, so at this point, I knew that this doll was going to be much too large, but I figured I would just finish off to show you the process and then remake it off camera for the next video. So sorry about that. Make your core much smaller than you want your doll. All right. Um, the body looks like this right now. Uh, this is basically the base. I'm going to definitely be sculpting over this after I cut it up and stuff. Um, so I'm just going to bake it like this so I just have something firmer to work with. Uh, and right now I'm just shaping out like a basic head shape. Um, I'm trying to make it pretty featureless but still like in the same, the right general shape I guess. So um, it needs to be kind of flat on the sides and it should come out further. The forehead's going to need to come out further than this but I can kind of do that. I'm thinking this is going to be something real cutesy um, and probably animal inspired. See so the back of the head's not big enough. Um, there we go. He's got little ears now. She, they. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to try and cut out an eye shape now or save it to later. It can be quite difficult to cut through after the fact. So I'm thinking I might just put like the basic like hole in it, if that makes sense. Like I might I might slash watch me because um, it's easy enough to make a hole bigger but it can be a pain to like make that initial hole so I'm just going to uh, they're not perfect <laughs> pretty cute okay um a bit of that little 
these little nubbins. Um, obviously this shape is going to be adjusted and stuff too, but, and the eye walls need to be put in. But right now we're starting with this kind of like happy little eared guy, kind of a short neck. So that way the head sits. It's kind of like a weird baby, but we're, it's going to get better than this, but, um, I smoothed it out most of the way. It's still lumpy, but I mean, like, there's not big cracks everywhere. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go bake this. And then I'll be back with my big head baby um, to take a look at the base and probably start cutting it up. Because I think I'm going to cut it up before I get too detailed. Um, I just feel like that's a better idea. All right, so I have the base done I guess um it's still quite warm so I'm just gonna pick it up with my sleeves um and I like to cut it while it's still a little bit warm because it's less likely to crack and it's a lot easier um it's still really hot so I've got a, got a few minutes but um excuse me while I punch it it's in the kind of hard slash bouncy it's almost like a rubber ball um but this is, oh, it's hot. This is the head so far. It baked up, we didn't get any big cracks. And then uh, same thing with the body. Looks good, no major cracks. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and cut this up. But yeah, the first thing I'm going to be doing is cutting this bad boy up and cutting the head up and removing the core. So I guess let's get to that. All right, so I've got my doll here and I'm just going to cut this. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do this as a face plate and just do it like as an actual head because it's not like I'm gonna be making a whole bunch of dolls with this. Um, anyway, so I'm just going to cut. I'm gonna use the crack that's, the little hole that's already there is like, whew, it's still very warm um, from its first bake. All right, so it is it is stained. Mm, I think it's gonna be a little messier than I thought. I'm gonna grab a bowl. The tape is doing its job, and that was to hold the foam, like, so it didn't get too compressed and stuff, and that it didn't mush apart. And now I need it to mush apart. Typically I do this with, um, like I would make the core out of foil but I've always found the foil really hard to remove and somebody recommended floral foam to me and masking tape so I figured I'd try that but I think this is proving to be just as messy uh, but we'll see like what the inside of the doll head looks like because that's the part that the the aluminum foil like embeds itself into the head and it like lives there forever now I'm going to cut up this body um I think I'm just gonna it's moments like this where I'm like mm, maybe I should have just like built it as pieces like I did with Clover, but all right. I think one last little cut, if I can just get in here. All right, I think this is gonna just pop off now. All right, so far we just have a bunch of uh, dismembered limbs and a cut up head. Um, success, so I have, so yeah, that looks pretty good, I think. I mean, it definitely stained, um, but and there's nothing to hold it together, so. But that's like the base of it. I think, I actually think it's pretty cute. Um, definitely needs the eye wells and stuff carved out, but I'm gonna put that to the side to cool a bit more. All right, I've got all the pieces now, so there's the torso. Um, again, I'm gonna put a ball in here, so this is probably gonna be a bit longer. I'm also gonna carve it out slightly. Um, I've also got, the legs here. Everything's all hollowed now. Um, and then I've got them backwards, but I do have the arms. Um, again, don't worry about the shoulder. Like they're gonna be, this is gonna be cut. Um, but yeah. Um, and then of course the head and nothing, everything is nice and cool now. So, uh, except for the very top of this head, weird. But yeah, um, rate, like to rate though, like the masking tape, 
was so nice. Um, in the future, I would wrap it around, like I said, so I could just kind of pull it and it would just like unwind because then you can just scoop the foam out and then you just wipe it quickly. Easy peasy. Um, I do have a little more clay here. I've got obviously a lot more clay. I have a, eight more pounds of it actually. Um, so what I'm going to do, um, cause I want to make the jointing. I do have to reinforce the bottom of this too, but I think I'm going to go ahead and reinforce this and then cut the tops off the arms. So I'm like, do I just go ahead and cut the arms too? Probably, probably. It's like I was smooth with that too. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's reinforce the butt a little bit first. All right, so I'm just taking a bit of this clay. It's nice and soft, 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 soft. Um, and obviously it needs, Oh, um, also this time I have uh, sculpting tools. I have had them forever. I just forgot I had them. Oh, I have a scrapey thing. That's good. That's going to be nice for the evening, evening, e like evening something out. Not for the evening, like this, not, this evening on CBC radio. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to get this smeared in there. In a way that makes it stronger. All right, that's a little better. Okay, so now it looks like this. So this is where we would have a ball sitting in there. So I wasn't really happy with these joints because I wasn't happy with the base. Um, however, basically I just made basic peanut joints which were just two balls joined together with a channel down the middle and a couple like slices, I don't know what to call these divots for the elastic to poke through. Um, the shoulder was just a ball and the tummy was just a ball. But again, I was not happy with the way this looked. So I'll be able to get more into the joints of the new model in the next video. For the thighs that fit fairly well. This guy that sits on this one, obviously it needs to be fitted better. And then they have these um, shoulder joints that go into the upper arms. This is not the right upper arm. I grabbed the wrong one. Um, that sit like this. Ugh, obviously these are not done either but um, I'm gonna go ahead and just try and smooth the parts out a little more. <sighs> I'm gonna go ahead and try and smooth the parts out a little more just so they're a little smoother uh, and then bake them. And um, yeah, all right, I'm beat. I've been at this for a while now. Um, the pieces are a little smoother. They have a little definition. Um, obviously there's going to need to be probably about a hundred years worth of sanding and stuff, but that's where we're at. I also haven't put a mouth or anything on it. I'm debating just keeping it like this, but uh, not like this, but like with no mouth. I don't know. It could be really fun. It could be really creepy. I don't know. But yeah, I'm, I'm finishing up for the night. Let me know if you're into this, if you would like to continue seeing me plug away at this. It's probably going to go into a box for a little while until I get back to it. Um, but I do plan on finishing it one day. 
Uh, if you're already subscribed to my channel, thanks so much for subscribing. If you're new here, I hope you like the content and will consider subscribing. As always, I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.